Welcome to the breakdown. Today, we go back to South Korea to see Missing, a film about a goofy young woman named Hyun Ah, who is trapped by an evil old man, Park Son. However, Hyun Ah's sister, Hyun Jung, is determined to save her sister no matter what. Directed by Song Hong Kim, I'm always a fan of watching South Korean movies, and even better, this movie is well made yet has barely any information about its production. I definitely check out this movie yourself. You can see it on Tubi. And who told Tubi they can change up their whole shtick? You want to see what happens, including all the messed up parts? Stay tuned for the breakdown. Cue the Gohan. Y'all filming this with a flip video camera? That's some real 2000s right there. This is some real filmmaking. But these are two sisters, Hyun Ah and Hyun Jung. In the present, deep in a small town, Hyun Ah and a film director are traveling for some reason. But Hyun Ah's sister, Hyun Jung, is angry that her sis is ignoring her calls and is miles away without saying anything. They stay at a small inn where the dirty old man asks the director here for help lifting things. This happy-go-lucky idiot goes to help the old man while Hyun Ah calls her sister back. 사랑해. I love you. Hit her with that double I love you. But suddenly, the old man chokes the director. Uh-oh, what was that noise, head ass? The wires break, leaving the director to crawl away right in front of Hyuna, who watches the old man finish the job with a shovel. He grabs Hyuna and hits her with that chloroform to knock her out. Look at that dog. She wakes up trapped in a cage, and the old man threatens to let the dog be her roommate if she doesn't do exactly what she's told. <sighs> Harmonica players give me I spit on your grave flashbacks. This'll be one sick villain. She uses matches to see in the dark, but that isn't something I'd want to see. Later, Hyuna wakes up with a blinding light from the dentist's office. He tells her to strip the clothes, or she'll be locked up forever. This old man is odd, but not as odd as this pointless scene of him showering her off. The old coot dresses up, ready for a night of disco, dressing up for some celebration for him and her. This cake represents that she is his third prize. Looks like the previous prizes got the Ramsey Bolton treatment. Now it's time for some real roll bounce karaoke from today's finest loser. She coughed during his solo, so the loser tells her to crawl like a dog, but then he does something terrible. This cake, he spreads it all over her and then assaults her. Afterwards, he goes upstairs, revealing his elderly mother stays with him, though he looks pretty elderly too. The next morning, Hyuna gets a drink of water, begging for her sister to come save her. Hyun Jung is at the police station, lecturing the police about helping her find her sister. Why the police suck in these movies? <coughs> Ugh, don't peer at my window like that, creep. Sorry, he's just apologizing for not being able to help, but clearly he just wanted to get her phone number. Meanwhile, Hyun Ah is getting sicker, yet the old man continues to force her to do his bidding. But then she bites his hot dog, rip into that thing and rip it clean off, lady. Suddenly, Hyun Jung is investigating the town where her sister is, Sherlock Homegirl. The creep has her sister in a chair and uses pliers for some DIY dentist work to punish her for what she did. Following the trail of village idiots, Hyun Jung keeps looking for her sister. While the old dirty creep feeds his mother, she clearly hates being alive because she's disappointed in her son knowing his true nature. Suddenly, Hyun Jung parks outside his house, right on the trail of her sister. This is some real Resident Evil 7 vibes. You're asking to get a bunk bed with your sister, but Hyun Ah is sick and might have little time left. Well, I've, I've never seen that person before in my life, head ass. Hyun Jung is intuitive enough to know that this man is a phony. The cop says that the old man wouldn't hurt a fly. Suspect someone suspicious. Still, they take her to the creep's place, where we learn that his wife Life ran off years ago. I wonder why. They ask him to show the basement, and he begrudgingly gives them the keys to check it out. The annoying useless cop looks for the creep to apologize while they roam deeper into his dark dwelling. She sees the cage where her sister was, pulling the sheet off, and they find nothing. 
nothing at all. This dude is laughing like a real super villain right now. And it seems her sister was never here after all. That's because her sister was hidden inside a tree grinder. When they leave, the creep turns on the grinder, sending Huna to the afterlife in the worst way possible. Rest in peace, Huna. What came from the grinder is used to feed his chickens. Not knowing where her sister is, Hyun Jung suddenly gets into a wreck, breaking some poor old man's back. Oh, this poor old man? What a coinky dink. The creep uses the opportunity to trick her into following him to his home. I wonder for what reason. Well, that was quick. And now Hyun Jun is in his basement now. He shows her all that remains of her sister. Instead of begging for escape, she promises that he'll be next. The thirsty officer gets a call, seeing that Hyun Jung's car has been trashed. He knows that she's missing too. He tells her a dog should stay in his place, but looks like this dog is ready to bite. Unknown to him, she untied her rope and goes to cut him, but unfortunately he gets the upper hand. She should have waited until he left the room. Randomly, the old man finds his dog is deceased. This creep dog keeper from the beginning of the movie took it out, knowing full well what the old man is hiding in his basement. The dog keeper uses the information to threaten the old man into giving him land. But first, they partner up, planning to get rid of Hyun Jung, right in front of his mother. I've never seen a more disappointed person. Luckily, the police officer who thirsted over Hyun Jung has been watching and goes to save her, while the old man gets rid of the loose end that was the dog keeper. The mother of the old man literally crawls with all her life to stop her son. The thirsty cop finds Hyun Jung, but it's showdown time. But the the cop gets hacked just like that. And now it's real showdown time. Hyun Jung dodges and dodges all around town, somehow locking this idiot in his own basement. She hides on his property. I would have ran towards the street, kind of like he is doing. Using her last energy, his mother calls the police to stop her son. He keeps looking for Hyun Jung, who is playing a mean game of hide and seek. Look at Tomb Raider over here. He calls her bluff, but she shoots, shooting directly at his side. She asks, did he really end her sister's life and where did he put her? He mentions that he was hoping that this would happen to him one day before finally saying that her sister became chicken feed. Hearing this, she empties the entire gun, ending his terror. Afterwards, Young Jung is arrested. It can be proven self-defense, but she grinded the body up just like how her sister was. Therefore, self-defense is out, unless they prove she was mentally unstable. However, she has no regrets for what she did and I can't blame her. She then asks the attorney if he has a daughter. He says yes, and she gives a slight smile before leaving the room. The movie ends with an odd scene of two women asking this weird old man if they can ride on his boat. He looks around obviously up to no good. And that is the end. Well that was a solid little movie, very simple story. Every man in this movie sucked though, they were all creeps. The older you get, the nuttier apparently. Pak San, the old man, was instantly dislikable, yet I understand his sick need for some company, and it's becoming common for elderly people to pass away with nobody around. Though the film doesn't present any solutions to this or anything else, it's helpful to understand why these old guys are so weird in this movie maybe. Characters did make stupid decisions, but it still felt obvious what would happen. I'd like some more twists in the story, which were probably taken out of the film or not filmed at all. IMDB says this is inspired by a real life story, but I have trouble finding what story this could be inspired by. Overall, this movie is clearly dark and it's something interesting to check out if you like. Most disturbed moment is when the old man turned on the grinder with Huna inside. A terrible way to go clearly a scene to make the viewers mad. Most enjoy moment is probably the end of showdown. Everything closed out right there and I understand Hyun Jung's anger and the reason she did what she did. Hopefully she'll find some peace someday. And that's it, you should check out The Skin I Live In, a Spanish film about a crazy lady that is bordering on Dr. Doom levels of mad scientists. Otherwise, you could watch Belladonna, an anime film about a witch who changes the world one flower at a time. 
If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more Spooky Rice. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.